more birds coming, so go into your side on position. So then you can hedge your bets then you see. Wherever you plan to nail the bird, that pocket wants to be in alignment with the window in the sky where you plan to shoot it. If your feet are in the right place, when, when you take the shot, your body will naturally want to keep the gun moving, whereas if you just stand rooted to the ground, if you don't move now, I'm crossing this way, try to mount the gun now. Just mount your gun as if you've got your gun. Now your hips are locked, you see. Back to neutral. Here comes the bird. Turn the feet round. There you go, good. Okay, back to neutral, chest on. Here comes the bird. Great. Okay, back to neutral again. So first the feet and the balance and then the mount. You're going to come in through from just behind and then accelerate through it, pass it, lock on, accelerate, pass and shoot. Bang. So it's, it's having the confidence to keep the power on with that left hip. So you lock onto the line with the hands, up to the cheek and shoulder, and then you catch it up. But what, you generate the power from your hip, your left hip. All right, let's give it a go. Check your barrels are clear, let's give it a shot. Go for it, you know what to do, go for it. Well done, brilliant. Just repeat the same movement. Try again. Well done. There you go, you've got both eyes open and um, already your basic technique is, is solid. It just requires layer upon layer upon layer and, and that'll come through you know, practice from your behalf just with the gun, getting used to all the basics of operating the gun safely. Check the barrels are clear, cartridge is going, close the gun into the ground, muzzle end up in line with where you want to shoot, pocket in line with where you want to shoot and those feet, rather than being out of your outside your shoulders and blocking your hips, if you keep them just inside your shoulders, it's much easier to have really good balance then. And, uh, and go from there, okay? Well done. We'd, we'd, we'd reduce this measurement, uh, the depth, so it would sit, you know, sit more comfortably in your shoulders so the toe isn't digging into the top of your chest. Yeah. Um, the comb height and the cast is perfect, and also the length, so we'd, we'd leave those at, at that. Have you got support there? It's pretty much there. I'll bring it, bring it forward with touch. Front of the comb, it's 24 millimeters drop. The, the back of the heat, the back of the comb is 34 millimeters, and then drop it in your shoulder. The top is 55 millimeters drop. So there are your three key measurements there. Yeah. Right, that's fine. Okay, rest. Good.